What's good everybody? I'm going to make a video on how to use two pin infrared receivers and the emitters. There's not too many tutorials on how to use these so I'm going to make a quick video showing you how to use them, uh, setting them up with your Arduino and uh, reading input from them. So let's go ahead and set up the circuit and then we'll look at the code. Alright so everything you're going to need to do this is of course your Arduino, your two pin infrared emitter and receiver, a 10 ohm resistor, a 10k resistor, and of course breadboard and jumper wires. Let's go ahead and plug in our emitter and receiver. Now these are directional, they point straight up because so you can have them really close to each other which makes things a lot easier because all we're trying to do here is bounce light coming from the emitter bounce it back into the receiver. So let's plug those there. We have our negative legs and our positive legs. Now the 10 ohm resistor, this is for the emitter because this, these specific ones that I got were only uh, rated for forward voltage of like 1.2 to 1.5 volts, so that's not very much. You have to be careful with these ones. So only, re only reason I have the uh, resistor is because I'm plugging it into the 3.3 volt uh, pin on the Arduino. So go ahead and put that resistor on the positive end of your leg through the resistor into the 3.3 volts on the Arduino. And then of course take your negative end of the emitter and plug that into ground. Okay, there's the emitter. Now the receiver is a little wonky. Um, you actually connect power through the negative leg of the receiver. So I'll show you how to do that. So let's go ahead and connect negative end of the receiver, which is rated for five volts. Plug that into the five volt pin on the Arduino. And then this 10K resistor is for the pull down on the positive end of the receiver. One part of the positive end goes into our analog zero for reading the input. And we put our pull down resistor on the same track of the positive end. And this goes to ground. All right, so there is our finished circuit. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a closer look and then we'll get to the code. Okay, so here is our very basic Arduino sketch. Up here at the top, you need your integer, your infrared read, which you will be displaying in the serial monitor. In the setup, of course, your serial begin. Get your baud right there. Pin mode. In Arduino, you have to set A0, not just zero, for your input, because we're reading it through the uh, receiver. And in your loop function, you're going to be setting infrared read to analog read A0, our input, analog input. And then of course, we're gonna serial print line infrared read and see what we get. So let's go ahead and upload that. Done uploading, open the serial monitor. And as you can see, we're getting values at the low end around 250, 260 right now. And let's go ahead and start up here. Can't see my hand, but I'm coming down slowly. Reaching around 300, 400, five, six, seven, eight, and all the way to nine, almost to a thousand. I can get about right there and it reaches 982, 983. Now the resistor that we have for the pull down on the uh, positive leg of the receiver. That's determining what kind of values you're getting. Um, you can use a 10K, 5K, it doesn't really matter. Um, just play around with it, see what values you get, which ones you prefer. Um, I think the 10K gives the best values. This is what we're getting here. Um, these are the easiest to work with. They're getting a nice range of values here. And of course, if you use a more reflective surface, you'll get even better results. Eh, around 993. It's not a whole bunch more, but it's definitely a lot more precise. Yeah, like that. And of course, if you use like a black surface, you get hardly any results because infrared's being absorbed by the black. But yeah, that's the super simple setup for this. Um, your Arduino sketch is, you know, super freaking basic. These infrared LEDs and receivers come in super handy for projects. Um, I'm doing a big project right now that I'm going to be working on. 
So I'm gonna be using a lot of these and my professor just helped me discover this because I was confused because a lot of the things on the internet have just three prong receivers. So, you know, I decided to make a nice tutorial on how to use the two pin. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.